The Bible said, now faith, Hebrew chapter 11, verse 1. It said, now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, but if the elders obtain a good report. The Bible says in Hebrew 11, chapter verse 6, without faith it's impossible. Please, God, he that comes to God must first believe that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Our message today is salvation is about faith, not about feelings. Salvation is about faith and not about feelings. And a lot of people are dependent on feelings rather than facts. Well, see, a lot of people is depending on feelings rather than facts. What is feeling? Feeling is emotion. Feeling is being sensitive. My friend, you can't depend on feelings. You gotta depend on facts and faith. Because the Bible say, he glory to God, have faith in God. He didn't say have feeling in God. He said have faith in God. When we look at the book of Hebrew, Hebrew, he glory to God, 11th chapter. Hallelujah, talk about the, the hall of faith. They say a hall of feelings. He glory to God, it take faith, Rahab. Hid the spies on the roof. He glory to God. And a lot of people, they're living in their feelings rather than living their facts. Because feelings, my friend, can't get you to heaven. A lot of people shouting themselves to heaven. It's not, it's not about shouting, my friend. It's about living. And it, it takes faith. If you don't have faith in God, my friend, you can't please God. I know you shout, I know you speak in tongue, but emotionalism can't get you to heaven. What I say, emotionalism cannot get you into heaven. You got to have faith, belief, confident, assurance in God. Feelings, my friend, hallelujah, is emotion. You say, I feel, I feel, like I'm safe. How do feeling save feels? Feeling is a person that say, I gotta see it to believe it. I gotta see God to believe God. But Jesus told Thomas, blessed are those that have not seen me, but yet believe. Because Thomas said, unless I see the print in his nail, I will not believe. So there are a lot of people that believe that 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 go on feeling rather than faith. So salvation is not about hey glory to God. Faith, listen, listen, faith is confident in God. You gotta be confident in God. You gotta be, you gotta have assurance knowing that God will say what he say without you seeing him. People that don't have faith, my friend, are people that go in and out of salvation because they got to depend on their feelings. Hey, glory to God. When you depend on your feeling, my friend, you won't feel like you can make it. You won't feel like you are safe. You won't feel like this and that, my friend. But salvation is not about feeling. It's about faith. Hallelujah. Faith move mountain. The Bible says you have a faith in a grain of the mustard seed. You can say that the mountain move and the mountain can obey you, my friend. So you can't depend on your feelings. You can't wake up in the morning and say, I feel like I'm saved. I feel like, hallelujah, I'm going to get better. No, you got to know. And when you know, it will show. When it show, glory to God, it will flow. On the flow, my friend, you are sowing glory to other people, knowing that you are confident. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, being confident of this very thing, he that begun a good work in you will perform unto the day of Jesus Christ. So it takes faith to move God, not your feelings. I say, Enoch walked 
with God and was translated, they should not see death. What did it say? The Bible said Enoch walked. Hallelujah. That means he was a walker and a talker with an invisible person that was with him. And a lot of people not walking with God. You walk with your faith. You walk with your feelings. You're not walking in faith. You got to walk in faith. Hey, glory to God. Because faith move mountain. Hey, glory to God. My friend, if you are a believer, unbelievers, hey, glory to God, they walk in their feelings. They are too sensitive. Hey, glory to God. You can't be too... That's what Jesus Christ told the disciple. He told the disciple, hallelujah, being, that being offended in these things, they shall put you out of synagogue and they will think they're doing, they're doing God's service. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. He say, he say, be not, now, 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 John the Baptist, hallelujah, he got offended because he asked, he asked the disciples, was this one, this was this the one that should come or do we look for another? And glory to God. And Jesus Christ told, told them to tell John that, that the dead are been brought to life and the blind are open, my friend. Hey, glory to God. Be not, be not offended in these things. What things, my friend, when people talk about you, glory to God, when people scandalize your name, hallelujah, when people grow, separate you from their friends and family, be not, glory to God, overcome by, glory to God, people doing to you for the name of Christ. It's not about you, my friend. Listen to me very carefully. It's not about your, your feeling. It's about your faith. Have faith in God. Because when you have faith in God, you can move mountain. When you have faith in God, you can speak to the mountain. And a mountain got to obey you. Oh, glory to God. I'm talking to somebody right now, my friend. You got to have confidence. You got to have assurance. You got to have glory to God knowing this. Knowing this, that God going to perform what he say he going to do. Look at that lady at Isha Bluff for 12 long years. The Bible say, my friend, she pressed upon, hallelujah, and go to crowd to see Jesus. Look in a short Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus Zacchaeus climb up on the on the sycamore tree to see Jesus and Jesus Christ says Zacchaeus I must come I must abide in your house today hey glory to God I'm talking about somebody right now you need to press when you press my friend that means you have confidence in God the woman had an issue of blood for 12 long years my friend that woman spent all her money on physician and she got worse she got worse until somebody said Jesus is coming to town and when she heard the news my friend she got ready she got on her knees and she touched the hem of his garment and the Bible said immediately the blood advanced the blood has dried up and just says who touched me me because virtue have gone out of me because somebody touched me. I come and tell somebody right now, my friend. When you when you touch Jesus, my friend, there's virtue. Virtue means power. And Jesus Christ said, "Who touched me?" And Peter said, "Jesus, you see all the people around you, and you say who touched you? Somebody touched me. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. He touched me, my friend. When you touch Jesus, you have faith." Hallelujah. Is that your feelings? Oh, glory to God. I know the woman touched Jesus Christ's garment, but I come and tell you, Jesus Christ is here right now. That's why he tell people, come unto me, oh, he the heaven lady, and I will give rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me because my yoke is easy and my burden is like Peter said, casting all your cares up, your anxiety, your attack on him because he cares for you. No one cares like Jesus. So I tell somebody right now, it's not about your feeling, it's your faith, it's your confidence, it's your assurance, it's your knowing, it's your facts about God. It's not your feelings. You might feel sick, but I come and tell you, when you feel sick, there's a salve, there's a savior, and his name is not your money. His name is not the not the medicine, not the doctor. His name is Jesus Christ. So it's not about your feeling. It's about your faith. It's about the facts. It's about reality. It's not fantasy. It's reality. A lot of people are going on fabrication. You're going on fantasy. My friend, you got to get out of those things and get in faith. 
F A R T A. Faith is facts, assurance, inspiration, glory to God, time, and a high priest. That what faith is, my friend, is fa is facts, not fantasy. It's facts. Hallelujah. It's not your feelings. It's assurance, my friend. Know that God will come through for you right now. You gotta have faith. Now, favor some of the things hoped for and everything that things that seen by the elders obtain a good report. It was faith that Abraham took his son, hallelujah, to the, the hallelujah to the mountain and say, Father, I saw the sacrifice. I saw the, the, the material, but where's the sacrifice? And Abraham say, oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, God will supply. God will. And as soon as it turned around, my friend, there's a ram that caught in a thicket. You know why? Because he have confidence. He have he know that God was going to show up. We got to we got to follow instruction. We got to follow glory to in the information. Hallelujah. Know that God will say what it's say going to do and God did it. So I'm telling you, my friend, it's not about feeling. It's about faith. Faith faith move God. Faith, my friend, will come into opportunity. Hallelujah. You got to have faith and not your feelings in God. Faith move God. Feelings. It's just a feelings, my friend. You can't be sensitive. When people talk about you, my friend, let it be like a like a cat. One water got on the back, they roll off. It don't get into you, my friend. You must have faith in God and not your feelings. Stop being sensitive. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. But have faith. Faith. Hallelujah. Without faith, it's impossible to please God.